There are more than 60 shark species that feed off the waters of the Florida Panhandle, but only three of them have the reputation for inflicting serious damage to, even killing humans. The three are great white, tiger, and bull sharks. Dan Huber knows the eating habits of all three. They inhabit these gulf waters. The great white, for instance, tends to be the largest, measuring up to 20 feet in length, weighing about 2,000 pounds. An animal with such force, it can rock it out of the water to snatch its meal, usually sea mammals. The white shark, as many people know, preys primarily upon marine mammals. Everybody's seen the videos of the white sharks hitting the seals and launching themselves out of the water. The tiger shark typically doesn't reach the dimensions of the great white. Its maximum length is 17 feet. But what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in brute force. If I had to guess which one of them would pound for pound bite the hardest, I would go with the tiger shark. And when it comes to feeding, the tiger is hardly picky. Tiger sharks are considered the garbage cans of the ocean. But one thing they're particularly known for is specializing on eating large sea turtles. That leaves the bull shark. From snout tip to caudal tail, it can reach 11 feet. Huber says it tends to prefer other fish, even other sharks. Typically here in Florida waters, they would be eating things like black tip sharks, uh, bonnet head sharks, which are a small species of hammerhead. One of the bull's gifts, a keen ability to pick up electrical fields generated by moving prey. In murkier waters, the shark relies on those sensibilities to hunt, allowing the bull to venture almost anywhere it wants. The species can actually go into freshwater. Uh, in the United States, for instance, bull sharks have been captured as far north as Illinois in the Mississippi River. 